What's up beautiful people, it's Ben here. I wanna show you how to take your selfies to the next level. So let's not muck around, let's get right into this. Anyway, so I wrote a blog, we call it a blog. I wrote an article for Skypixel and it's about how to take selfies to the next level. I'm gonna run you through four tips that I wrote in this article, which I think uh, they're very simple, very easy to understand, and hopefully it'll help you take it to the next level. Tip number one. Tip number one, contrast yourself from the background. Make sure you stand out in your shot. It might be that you're wearing a bright shirt, a bright yellow jacket, as a lot of people like to wear, or a bright something that you're wearing against a darker background that helps you stand out. Maybe you sit above a horizon line, so the sun is in front of you and you're a silhouette. Whatever it is, just make sure people can see you properly. You're not mixed in with the trees, you're not mixed in with other patterns, you're not camouflaged into uh, a fence. Okay, I can't use this pen anymore for my numbers. Number two, focus. Number two, put yourself in an epic location. Now this is, um, I don't know, is this, some people can say, oh, you know what, you can take photos anyway, and you can, you, trust me, you can. But if you wanna take it to the next level, you need to go to epic locations to help sell that. For this type of photography and these types of selfies, really you wanna make your scene and your location be the winner. Yeah, you're beautiful and everything, but really what we want is the location to really sell where you are. Allow people to be taken where you are. Allow them to feel like you in the photo. Like a photo in front of a brick wall or a photo in your backyard is one thing and you can make it cool. Trust me, you can make it cool. But one in an epic location is so much better. And so if you can find one, you might need to go for a walk, you might need to go for a drive, you may even need to jump on a plane. But whatever you need to do, Get yourself in an epic location. It might even be the lake down the road. Number three. Number three. My back, come on, come on. Learn how to use your aircraft features to get your best shot. For me, I like to use the time shot. I just set it up in the back end of my DJI remote control app. And I just hit it to, I think, two seconds. And then from there, it just takes a shot every two seconds. And then that way you can move to a different position, see where you fit. It allows you to frame yourself in that scene, then go and hide the remote. And then that way the camera is just gonna take shot after shot every two seconds to get that photo. Things like active track and the follow me features work really great for that too. Pretty much for all those quick shot ones, they're all kind of cool. I don't use them personally. I think they're a little bit gimmicky, but if you wanna use them, go ahead. They're really easy to use, why not? Number four. Number four, change the perspective. Don't always look for the things that are normal. What you wanna do is try and find a slightly different angle, a slightly different look. It might be top down. It might be you riding a bike on a basketball court. It might be you, it might be a video boomerang. And to help you get a little bit more inspiration, I'm gonna throw up a few photos of some people who I think are taking some amazing drone selfies out there. And now that you are empowered to take all of these tips out into the air, I wanna see your photos. Make sure you tag me on Instagram or wherever you're posting them. If you wanna see some of my selfie photos in a little bit more detail, jump on my Instagram, have a scroll, hit that follow. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, throw a subscribe my way as well. And I will see you in the next one. What's up beautiful people, it's your boy. <laughs> Do actually people say that? I don't even know if people say that. I am never going to say that. I won't say, I am going to say what's up beautiful people because I actually do think you're beautiful, but I'm not going to say it's your boy. I'm not your boy. I hope you don't feel like we have that type of relationship. It's, a, it's an intimate relationship, but it's not that type of relationship.